Hello everybody, my name is Lachara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. It is a brand new year in-game. Month 1, Week 1, 2009. Currently in the holiday season, which is why my consoles are selling absolutely insane amounts. Even the old Lachara station, still selling 360000 That's kind of nuts. I mean, there's a lot of games for it. It's 252 games, including 20 exclusive games for this console. That's a big part of the reason. But, I mean, at these kind of sales numbers, this could be the best-selling console of all time. I mean, it's not even... Yeah, it's not even in the top 10 yet. It will be, like, the end of this month. It'll be 10th. Actually, it might even be 9th. But, like, there's not that big of a gap. It's 10 million sales. Now, it is... The hardware is outdated, so the production costs are going to start increasing. But I... I really want that to be the best selling console of all time. I'll probably leave it on the market until it gets there. So we're holding in a $25 profit. It says, but yeah, so this, this production cost is going to slowly creep up. I think my price will creep up with it, but it's possible that this automatic hold selling price only works going down, not coming back up. I will have to check um, on this periodically if I remember. Um, MMOs are doing well, although Candy Crash needs an add-on, which we are making. We are also working on a real-time strategy game, um, just because I wanted to diversify a bit. I hadn't made a RTS in a long time. Most of my games are selling pretty well. Uh, the Derby's not, but it's a uh, it's an exclusive. It's an exclusive just for the um, my tier my tier six um, console. All right, so we have motion camera support. I believe I'm waiting for one more tech level six thing, I think, and then I'm going to make a level six handheld. I think CPU, because we got, yeah, we got two level six main memories. We got the second level six graphics card, sound card. I'm not sure if there's another memory card and data carrier coming. So if the, if the CPU comes soon, I think that's what I'm going to make console because i'm not sure about the other stuff um yeah so let's see how things go here um how's this coming so this let's switch the bug fixing team over to the mmo add-on because mmo add-ons for whatever well i was gonna say for whatever reason but the reason that they have more bugs is because they're for an mmo which is an incredibly complex piece of software right so yeah, all these side teams, we will switch over to polishing this MMO add-on. Probably when it gets to about half done, we'll switch them to polishing this instead of um, what we're doing now. Um, customer support. So this room used to be just doing um, bringing in new fans. And this room was customer support, but this room couldn't keep up. So I added this room, and they're still not really keeping up. So I think I need to add some more marketing people, which there is four of, which we are going to hire. But I was thinking, since this group is not doing anything, actually, you know what, let's do our pre-release stuff for Alien Invasion 2, our pre-release special marketing. We're going to overhype this. Yeah, I'm going to overhype it, I think. It's risky, because it's, I mean, it's an RTS. It's not, it's not a genre we're good at, but... Generally speaking, we we just make good games at this point. All right, so cancel task. Polish. No, there you go. Luch polish. Sour candies. Cancel task. Let's polish some sour candies. And over here as well. Beautiful. And this group, we will bug fix. Sour candies. And then when the bugs are gone, they'll polish a bit. Did I do overhype already? Holy crap, that went fast. Um, so let's see if we can bring in a couple of more office workers here. And with the efficient trait. They do all tasks marginally faster. Which is good. Alright, so this is the end of the holiday season, I believe. Yes. Oh, and there's there's my CPU that I was hoping for. Alright, so. Overhyped did not go through, which is fine. Um, you know, because I I wasn't sure I'm not sure if the game's gonna be good enough to justify the hype anyway. So it's possibly for the best. 
All right, so what's uh, after that month? How many? What's um? What, how many sales? Ninety two point eight. So yeah, it's definitely in the top ten. But the question is, what is it going to sell now that Christmas holiday season is over, right? Oh, actually, it dropped off even before the end of the holiday season. Oh, huh, weird. Why that drop off there? But this top ten. And it will be at least ninth here very, very soon. All right, so the four core CPU is coming. Um, let's do an update for actually. Hmm, what about engine? What kind of game are we gonna make next? Trend is about to change, so we don't really know what we're gonna make next. So let's just do a pre-update for um, the Derby. Yeah, let's do another update for the Derby. Keep that going strong. There we go. All right, so that's all games almost ready. This game's almost ready. So we're basically going to be putting these two games out at almost the same time, which is fine. Although this one has some bugs we got to work out. Which, again, not a big deal. All right, continue development. Let's get those bugs out. What about this one? Oh, we got to do pre-release for this one. The pre-release for the press. No, not market research. Uh, do, 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 where are we at here? Sour candies. Pre-release for the press. Nice. All right, so let's just continue development. Let's polish this up a little bit. Wait for the pre-release for the press to come through. Okay. Um, yeah. 70 to 90 is fine. That's what, that's what I expect. From a add-on, I expect it to be closer to ninety, though. Hopefully, <laughs> there we go, ninety percent. I am happy with that. All right, so how's NeverQuest doing? Does it need an add-on? How long since the last add-on for NeverQuest? Oh, well, thirty-two weeks. So not quite yet. All right, so racing is the trend. That's what we thought it was going to be, which is why we made the Derby, right? But what else is popular right now? What other genres are reasonably popular that we could make a game for? Hey, real-time strategy is still popular. That's good. Survival, how long has Eric been out for? 59 weeks. I mean, we could. The IP value finally shot up. It was stuck at one for the longest time, and I couldn't understand why. Strategy? I mean, one of my best IPs is strategy, right? So that kind of makes sense. Back to the industry. Well, this uh, engine is definitely fairly out of date. Let's fix that. Crypto chair box, beautiful. Okay, so, so let's go back to polishing Alien Invasion 2 for just a little bit. Basically, I'm going to polish this until that engine's done. And then, uh, then we'll uh, actually, yeah, no polish here. We'll bug fix. Actually, there's no bugs. So <laughs> polishing it is. Um, once this engine's done, then we'll put this game out. And then we'll immediately start a strat new strategy game. And okay, so that research is done. So new console, new handheld, four core CPU. What do we want to call this one? Luchera. Um, Luchera Pocket Advanced. Maybe. Yeah, let's go with that. Not Pockle. Good. Nice touch screen. In case for handheld six. Um, oh, this is supposed to be green. This one was supposed to be green. All right, so we'll make this one green. What game do we want to include here? Industry. When was our last industry game? Industry. No, I could have swore we had an industry 10, didn't we? Oh, there it is. 98% review score. So that was a good game. Remember to turn on the internet. Backwards compatible with the Micro Pro. The advanced, the micro, and the pocket. 
turn on all the stuff that matters. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, actually. <laughs> $133 million for this. It is not cheap. And that is fine. Let's market that. Console. Just do game magazine, get it to 10, then we'll do three TV spots. For here, let's do, do an update for each of my MMOs with this group. So we'll do never quest first. And uh, yeah. TV spots now, that'll get it to 100. So yeah, just wait for this engine to be done. Oh, and the, the, the whatchamacallit, the patch today, you can now buy every publisher and developer, it said. Although, <laughs> they're not for sale yet. So maybe they're not, maybe you need to start a new game for that. And these other ones, I think, are too new. We can't buy them. Yeah. We'll come back. We'll buy everybody out that we can buy out later. I tried. I tried. I tried to buy everybody out. They weren't having it. Wow, this engine's taking longer than I thought it would. But the chair station is still chugging along at 200000 a week. Like, that's almost a million a month, right? <laughs> Which is pretty crazy. For a 10-year-old console <laughs> at this point. Oh, did they get that? Well, wow. Man, this, this group works so fast. I'm always blown away by how, by how fast they work. Actually, Lucergo Advanced. No, 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 no. Not Lucergo Advanced. We're pulling that off the market. Micro Pro. There we go. Lucergo Advanced, as soon as this new one. Actually, you know what? We're just going to pull it off the market now. I know it's still selling 200K. But I don't want, so all my subsidiaries are commanded to only make games for my consoles. I don't want them making tech level four games anymore. I want them to be making at least tech level five, right? So that's why I'm pulling it from America. Hey, 70 million sales. It was a good console. I mean, I think it was my second best selling console, right? I believe. After obviously the chair station is ooh, gonna be in eighth very soon. Yeah, it's moving up. Yep, it was my second best console. Although the super wheelchair box is gonna be up there very soon with the way it's selling right now. Which is very good. I'm happy with that. Obviously. How's my storage? Alright, so this storage room is full. Yeah, I might need to figure out a more storage somewhere at some point. Well, this whole building, I feel like I kind of need to redo this, all these production rooms at some point, possibly. But we'll deal with that when the time comes. Now request is bleeding subscribers again, but it's at 1.3 million subs right now. Candy Crash Online is at 3 million. All right, Alien Invasion 2, finished development, self-distribution. Only 70 to 90, but again, it's only my second real-time strategy game. So I wasn't expecting a whole, whole lot out of it. Hey, never mind. 92%. That's pretty good. So, develop game sequel. Industry 10. Soon to be Industry 11. Um, we'll leave it at AAA for now, but I have a feeling it's going to be quadruple A. Probably. Strategy, and we'll go with... Um, well, here's the thing. Do I want to make a tech level six? No, let's make a tech level five. Let's make it for all four of my currently on the market consoles. Or did I say four? I meant five. Or did I say, if I said five, then that's what I meant. <laughs> At some point, we'll switch over to making tech level six primarily. Yeah. All right. So how many here? Gonna have to, are we going to have to make a quadruple A? Oh, uh, I clicked on the fine button and it broke the game. Ooh, 50 of 50. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm going to make a quadruple A. In case we want to do add-ons for it, right? 
like if more features get added and we want to add those to any add-ons, it needs to be quadruple A. And maybe that's a dumb way to do it, but that's the way I'm doing it. <laughs> that's how I roll. I'm trying to think ahead, trying to think of the future here. And sounds improved and gameplay improved. Perfect. All right, what are we going to do here now? Actually, hmm. Do I want to do an add on for NeverQuest? At some point, I need to let NeverQuest die and make a NeverQuest 2. Not sure if that time is now. 38 weeks, yeah, maybe do an add on. And this is our 10th add on for NeverQuest, which is kind of crazy. Kind of insane. Um, magic. Magic. I don't know. I know that's a terrible name, but whatever. And then let's th throw in level streaming and social media integration. Sure. Now, because it's only a AAA game, we can't add, we can't, 50s are, ca are capped, so I can't add touchscreen support, can't add motion controllers, camera support, right? Which is the downfall. So now I have regrets. Uh, no, not consoles, Luch. Magic. I have regrets because I actually want. To. So we'll just cancel and get refunded. Let's polish the add on first because add ons are much faster, right? Like this add on will be done way before this game. Well, this game has to wait for the console too, so that might impact it as well. So I did a dumb thing. I. Hey, I shouldn't have, should have done this first. I kind of forgot that I needed to make an add-on though. So my apologies. Anyway, problem has been remedied. Um, what do we want to do here? Free update, day one patch for Alien Invasion 2? Sure, works for me. Yeah, I got it, mm, got it, oh wow. And legendary technician. I'm a full on technician, so I gotta pay attention to this. <laughs> I don't know where I would put another storage room though. I mean, I guess I could start. I don't need to self publish everything, right? Like I could use my subsidiary to publish, like like publish the the add ons. Like my MMO add ons, I could get one of my subsidiaries to publish those for me just to take the pressure off, right? Um, I don't know if that's a good idea, though. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. We'll see. I mean, we make slightly less profit per, per unit sold, but, I mean, eh, right? Like, we're still going to be making profit, right? It's not like it's... It's not like they're not going to be profitable. How's candy control selling, by the way? That is my uh, my spinoff. Oh, wow. Selling really well. It's like one of the best selling games of all time. <laughs> yeah, fifth. And probably going to be at least fourth by the time it's done. Yeah, with chair hockey, man. That, I got to make another chair hockey. <laughs> Soon. Soon.tm. Any more research? No. All right. How are my consoles for marketing here? The chair box could definitely use for a TV spot. Get that up to 100 hype. Summer slump still selling pretty well. Yeah. I mean, the chair station is, oh my God, I can't believe how good that's still selling. Okay. So one of the previous NeverQuest expansions is off the market. And Airplanes vs. Aliens Top Choice, which is a, um, a budget game that I made. Now, let me just check here. Do I have any excess stock? Is Are all these things still... Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it's automatically selling off remaining stock when a game comes off the market, which is what I wanted to confirm. And it is indeed the case. But, yeah, this game is pretty much done, so let's do special marketing. Pre-release special marketing for it. 
just the pre-release for the press is all we really need to do. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of space in the storerooms now, which is good. All right, so we're just waiting for the bugs to be gone. Then we'll ship it, and then we'll switch everybody over to making Industry 11 good. Arch booth, what needs boost here? Oh, let's give old NeverQuest a boost. Sweet Tooth and Alien Invasion 2 for consoles. Blue Chair Station and the Micro Pro. Yeah. Um, let's try market research. Let's see what they think the next trend is going to be. We have a legendary sound artist. Let's just continue development for a minute here while I grab this legendary sound. Designer. Nope, not graphics. Luch. Sound. There you go. I think we have room in here. Yes. Room for two more still. All right. And then we will send this out. Yeah, I'm going to let I'm going to let one of my Wait. I can't Can I not publish through my subsidiaries anymore? Did they change that? Oh, that must have changed. You used to be able to publish through your subsidiaries. Now you can't. Ooh, okay. That actually really changes things. I did not notice that in the patch notes. All right, so obviously we're going to self-distribute then. <laughs> so I'm not giving it to some company I don't own. 88? Okay, I'm happy with 88. That might be the last add-on we do for this game, though. Possibly. All right, so let's update an old engine here. Do puzzle. We're going to have to make Candy Crash for phones here soon. Um, well, let's, what, what, what tech level are the phones though? This phones we got, no, wait, I turned off phones. <laughs> oh, wow. They're only tech level three. Do I really want to make a tech level three phone game. No. Okay. So eventually we're going to make a phone game, but it is way too early for that right now. Way too early. Like, yeah, no, that's it'll happen, but it's not happening yet. <laughs> Someday. When the tech level gets a bit higher and the user base gets a bit higher. Although it's probably pretty cheap to make a phone game. Right? Anything need a demo? Sweet tooth? Sure. Drop a demo on that. So yeah, this this console will be ready when the game's ready, so that's good. Actually, it'll probably be ready before the game's ready. And let's do an update. Another alien invasion update. Did I even check the sales on that? How's it doing? <laughs> a lot going on. Yeah, 200k a week. That works. That's fine. Derby, hey. This is an exclusive for just a single console and move 3 million units. That's good. I'm satisfied with that. Arc Survival Devolved. 13, almost 14 million and it's exclusive to my consoles. Like, like it's the 8th high selling game of all time. Soon to be 7th, at least. And it's only for my consoles. That's crazy. That just goes to show how well my consoles are selling, right? We got a holiday season coming up again. And yeah, Lucera Station, it's third. It's it's making a run, folks. I think it's gonna do it. I think it's gonna do it. Well, I mean, if I leave it on the market, it's gonna it's gonna do it. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do updates for our updates. It can't generate any extra sales for the update. Um, you gotta wait till the game's done. But maybe if the update's better, that'll make people buy the want to buy the original game. Right? Is kind of what I'm thinking. And maybe I'm being crazy here. But oh, that's, that's what I want to try. All right, let's do an update for do another update for each MMO. 
Yeah, I got 4.3 billion. I really wish I could it would let me buy out some of the <laughs> some of the more um bigger publishers or some of the newest newer publishers. No, it still won't let me buy any of these. Which is fine, I guess. <laughs> oh, whoa, no, wait. Don't let me buy Zigna. What about SMK? No. All right, so it's just Zigna. Hey, it's another subsidiary. All right, so get you to match everybody else. Perfect. Only games for my consoles, please. And thank you. All right, so we're just waiting for QA and ooh, sound. We're waiting for sound and graphics. Now oh, and mocap. We're waiting for them all. <laughs> all right. In the meantime, yeah. I mean, so <laughs> don't. It's at ninety four hype. We really don't need to be doing that. But yeah, better than having them just sit around not doing anything, right? Hundred million. We're over the hundred million mark. And Super Chairbox is over the 70 million mark, so it's going to be probably be the best selling console of all time by the time it's all said and done. I did it. Best selling console. Yes. Luchera Station. Oh, you were a good console. 295 games, 27 exclusive. It's a 10 out of 10 console. It's been going for over 10 years. <laughs> 100 million. Yeah, Super Blue Chair Box is coming. It's at 71 million. Like, that's got to put it well in the top 20. Nope, never mind. Okay, it'll be in the top, it'll be in 18th in like two weeks, right? <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so mocap is done. Graphics is done. UA is done. Sound is done. All right, so. Uh, let's do an update for NeverQuest. 14, it's at 14 big free updates. All right, Industry 11, what are we looking at here, folks? Oh, got to set, got to put the console out first, Looch. Um, let's go, let's go with a $15 profit this time. See if that helps sales. Oh, 10 out of 10, five stars. Oh, the chair box, the chair station. I love you. All right, industry lab, and how's this going to be? I'm expecting 95 plus percent review score. It better be. <laughs> I'm hoping. Nice, 97. Exactly what I wanted to see. And this was exclusive to my consoles, right? Yeah. All right. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join my Discord. Sometimes we get together there and play multiplayer. MGT, MGT2. Link's in the description down below. Also, a link to my Patreon. Consider giving me some support. Um, hope everybody has a good holiday season. Be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.